What is up guys, I'm Atlas and welcome to another episode of Craft Lentis. On last episode, we defeated the, the Ender Dragon and we got the Egg Dragon. So we put it here with a small sign, you can see it looks out pretty. And we got the date that we killed him. And on this episode, I'm here with BK. Hello people! And what we're going to do is... We're going to build the Iron Farm. So let me put on first person and we can begin. So, BK already built a small dome for the iron farm and I'm going there as we speak and this will be the iron farm will be outside of the water so it will be in the in the mid sky and the golems will spawn there and they will fall through a tube and they will end up in this cool dome right here so you can see the dome the tunnel right here and they will fall into a system that will be right here now what we need to do is we need to build a path so we can later bring the villagers to the iron farm first thing we need to start is building the farm yeah that's it bringing the villagers back uh, we have time for that because we need to go to their village grab them by by a leech or by, by something the hears, by the hears by the hears yeah like school. years yeah years what the fuck is a here Thing that you listen to. Used to listen. Oh, know. okay. By the ears. Okay. <laughs> oh. I, th I was thinking some kind of I don't know. So we built so, the path fro from here already. Yeah, I guess. Start something like this. So, so we can, for example, we can place. Railroads on top of this glass? Oh. Oh. I have one. Let me try. No. No, that oh. would be cool. That would be faster. Everybody do the flop! So guys, we already made a huge pathway so we can reach to the top. We're making the farm at the block 120. And this should be enough if we're planning to build uh, an iron farm. And if you plan to have other golems, other village, down there that's our our idea is to have villagers down there you need to make uh, 120 blocks of distance between one village and another village so that's why we chose to do it at the block 120 and you may also do it uh, 100 and blocks of distance or more so since we have a three by three hole we're going to build a, a 19 by 19 platform so we can start putting some blocks and we're going to build uh, the platform and I'll later explain what we need to do on that platform. So we got the platform ready 19 by 19 with a 3 by 3 hole in the middle that ends up in the dome. So now what we're going to do, BK is already doing, is we're going to build a, hole, a wall around the platform and in that wall we're going to put some doors later and uh, and that's that pretty much it we need a three a three of height wall right because the the game detects the the doors as one block under oh, underneath and the one block on top of the door that is how the game recognizes a village so guys we got the walls completely ready and you can see we divide them like this and I'm going to explain it now so we're going to start by putting some doors and from each corner to this to this wall right here we can put up to six doors like this and then you just put the amount left on the middle and you do another six doors to the corner and we do this all around this platform. We're going to place doors all around it. So after all the doors placed down, we're going to build what BK is already starting. And it's a diagonal uh, triangular platform. The, and this is used to, to make the water go a little further. And we can start by doing this. It's seven blocks from the corners. That means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Up until this door. And the same thing for the other side. 
Then you just need to place it, place the blocks like this. And oh yeah, I forgot one block right here. <laughs> that was my mistake. So just remove that torch. And it's like this. Oh, I think, no, we're missing one block. VK, we're missing one block. We need to yeah. do like this. One more. Okay, we just do exactly like this. On all the four corners, we're going to build a platform like this. So, we start by doing is placing uh, a bucket of water on each corner like this. I'm just going to grab another one. And each corner will take one water bucket. Like that, BK is doing on the other side. And you can see, for example, this corner, water already reached this point. But it's not completely full, just need to put one more on the other corner. What we need to do next is place a water bucket in front of each door in the middle. Meanwhile... So we got the inside completely ready. And you can see there's water everywhere and doors everywhere. And now what we're going to do next is build a, a small cage. You make, if you want to call it like that, we, we, we call it like that. A small cage for the villagers. And those cages will be on each wall. And later we'll bring the villagers so they can start to procreate. So we can start building the cage, we can start BK. Yeah. Is there any specific size for the for any specific size for the cage? Four, four, four by four. Yeah. On the inside. Yeah. So that means you have one block missing, right? Yeah. Well, in this case, you have two blocks. Oh, no, that's right. It's like that. Just that one block. All right, so we have the first cage opened. We just do four now, more three. More, three more, yeah, all three around more, it. Yeah. Later. Okay, so now guys, we have the iron farm almost finished. What we're going to do right now, uh, me and BK, we're going to go into one of village, one of the village, and we're going to kidnap. We may say kidnap the villagers. And we're going to put them here. As soon as we put them here, they're going to start to procreate. And we need at least uh, 10 or 12 villagers to make this farm work. So have that in count, guys, before starting the starting building your farm. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. So we're just in front of the train station, and this is the best example to show you how it works. The, the train station. So I'm going to go first and I'm going to choose village one. So you can see the light just turned on. And we can call the train. Here is the train. Just get inside and start. And this automatically changes the line so we can go to the village. And that's pretty much it. Now we just need to wait to get there and bring the villagers back. And now we're waiting for BK. Here he's coming. Almost. And the cart stops there on the cactus. So now we just need to go to that village and bring the villagers back here. So I can already start by taking this one it looks like a professor or something like that and it's a librarian perfect so now we need to push them i guess yeah push to the, through the portal because the portal goes directly to the nether you know oh yeah right let me just break this cactus that's a lot faster i never thought of it so we just push him to this po nether portal right here. Yes, I'm on the other side waiting. And how do you make them climb blocks? You force them, you push them, push the ass. It's not working. They don't climb blocks. Right, you have some... Uh... Oh, 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 motherfucker! What? He just fucking ran away inside the house like Sonic speed. <laughs> 
fuck, I'm gonna break this. And you're going like okay. that, you little fucking pussy. Easier, easier. Oh, we got two of them there? One, I have one. Oh, this one is mine. Okay. You cannot Where is go yours? back. Nothing appears here. So why did you came? This I one was, is mine. I was here for long. I was here before you start bring them. But why did you came? Because I entered the portal to see where it goes. <laughs> I didn't know. You know nothing. So we got both of them right here, and now we're going to put them on the minecart. I have one minecart, and I think okay. we have more inside the chest. One so, is done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So let's push this one. Come on, you little fucking bastard. Go, you ah, little shit. bastard. Don't fall to the water, you little bitch. Okay, okay, go. Go, Sonic, go. One, two, then we can break, simply break their cars. One. Oh, wait, wait, so... wait. Break the other car. Not this one, no, 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 let, let, it, let it be. Let it be, let it be. <laughs> I cannot you break from here. You have to go down there. Okay, one. That's it. And the second one. Perfect. Get me out of here. You stay there and be quiet. I don't have so, any blocks. Now, guys, what we're going to do is... We're going to wait for them to procreate And as soon as they spawn we're going to move them to the other the other cages And as soon as we have at least 10 But it's recommended to use 12 it, Golems will start to spawn on the water and they will fall through the hole Six and a half hours later well guys, we already got a few villagers here, we had to take out the water So, because this got a little complicated in 1.8 And I'm going to explain Before, you simply needed to have the villagers and the doors And they would procreate But now, they have to will <coughs> They have to have the willing to procreate And you can force them to be willing to procreate by feeding them with carrots, with potatoes, or with bread. And you can see that we already have a few small ones in here. And since it's nighttime, they're going to try and get inside. Oh, we already have a golem! We already oh. got a golem! That, this freak, that means we already have enough villa villagers to, to, procre to make the golems appear. <clears throat> but it took a long time, huh? <coughs> it took us around one hour. We, I had to read online because I had no single clue. We ate it for <coughs> around 30 minutes and not a single uh, single villager procreated. So I had to read online what was the problem. And apparently we have to feed them because they must be willing to breathe. And you can see always hearts, always hearts spawning. And now what we're going to do, we're going to pick these ones up and we're going to put them inside the boxes and later if we want more villagers we just can come here, drop drop them some carrots or some potatoes and they will start, they will start to procreate in this 4x4 four four cage. Hello? Well, I don't know. <laughs> he fell asleep. What? I was on the toilet. <laughs> you could have I'm left back. a note uh, saying AFK or something. Sorry. So I have to, I have to run. <laughs> so my question was, uh, how are we going to get those villagers in these four x four cages? So we have to do some stairs, and we we use the rails anyway, you know, to be more safe. Oh, okay, okay. Well, they're not going to climb like this. That's for sure. No, the, the best thing to do is... is oh, really the golem is coming. Hello, golem. How are nice you, little sir? You. Because he loves me. Hello. You want a use steak? Take, take a steak. I know you want it. You can use the rails, you know? Uh, yeah, you, I only have four rails with me. I have with me. So, 
Oh, he keeps looking at me. Hello. Whoa, why the fuck did he attack me? I don't know. Uh, you, you made harm to the villains? Uh, I don't know. What the fuck? You did harm to the villains that he can attack you. Kill him. Really? Kill him. Yeah, kill him. Mm. I'm scared. Well, I can kill him, but that's really weird. Because usually they never right. usually they never attack us, right? I think this is the new version. Version. Oh my god, they changed so many things. So yeah, now we're going to use this and put them inside these cages. So guys, we got the farm ready already. Place the water. We put the villa the villagers inside. We use some rails to put them inside. We cut that because it's pretty useless to, to show that. And now what we're going to do, we're going to break those glass in the middle. And then we're going to go back down there and and build something to receive the golems back. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I was trying to place the lava. It's perfect like this. Love it. Just let it stay like that. Fuck it. I don't want to get burned, alright? That's... I didn't, but... I could have. It was danger. Oh, one is down in here. There's one? Yeah, he's dying. He's burning. And... Okay. Goodness. It takes a little bit for him to die. Okay, oh, he's whatever. dead. And we got... Two puppies and five iron ingots. And that's it, guys. That's our iron farm. And that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's perfect. I think we're going to call this an episode, right? Yeah. We did a lot already. Yeah, we did a lot. So, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment what you think about our iron farm. Subscribe if you haven't. I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Hey, before you go, you want to buy a game but you're actually low on cash? Welcome to G2A.com, a website that allows you to buy cheaper games for Steam and other platforms. It's completely safe, you get your game in under the 5 minutes and you can actually make money with this website. Remember, G2A.com, link is in the description.